In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to easily stretch two minutes worth of music to 24 minutes seamlessly and remix it without any issues. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you want to learn how to edit video like a pro, starting out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So inside of the Premiere Pro beta version right now is a really convenient remix tool that really can save you a ton of time. If you're watching this video at a later date, Premiere Pro may have already put this into the main program and it may no longer be in the beta version. So just something to keep in mind. But if it's not already in the main version of Premiere Pro, all you're gonna do is go over into the Adobe Creative Cloud, go down to beta apps, and then go ahead and download the Premiere Pro beta. And you can go ahead and open that up and use it just like you would normally use Premiere. Once you have your Premiere Pro beta downloaded, go ahead and drop your music into Premiere Pro and we're ready to go. So I already have mine inside of Premiere and I'm just gonna drop it down onto the timeline on any one of these audio layers here. And notice that my video is significantly longer than what my music actually is. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stretch it by going up here, clicking and holding the ripple edit tool and go down to the remix tool. And then all you simply have to do is just click on the very end of your audio and go ahead and stretch that music down to the very end. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on this area right here just to make your waveform a little bit bigger. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go up here to window and then open up essential sound. Once you've opened up essential sound, make sure that you have your music selected and go ahead and select the selection tool again and it's gonna bring up this area here. And what you should see right now is the target duration and what it is currently set at. You can bring this up and it'll make it even longer. But before we go any further, I wanna go down here to the timeline and actually look at my audio and kind of see what's happened. And notice where you see these little lines here, this is breaks where Premiere Pro has automatically kind of remixed your music for you to make it sound seamless. But I, what I like to do is always go back behind and check. So I'm gonna go to a certain point right before that break. And that sounds pretty good to me. Let's go to another one. It's like you don't even notice that there's a break there at all. Let me scroll down here a little further in a different spot. Yeah, that's, that sounds great already. Just like anything out there, Premiere Pro is not gonna be perfect every single time. If it's not sounding right, like if you have lyrics in your song and things don't add up or sound correct, what you can do is go up here to the customize button and then you can play around with the segments and the variations. So for the segments, if you wanna have fewer of those breaks, all you're gonna do is just click and drag this down and it will actually create less breaks and it will kind of remix it that way so you have less spots in your audio that could possibly be broken up. I'm good with what we originally had at five, but you just gotta play around with yours to make yours sound the way that you want. For variations, you have the options of melodic or harmonic. For melodic, it's gonna be for that type of music that has a bunch of individual waveforms, so meaning that it's a lot of solos and things like that. So if I bring this up, I can kind of explain to you what I'm talking about. This here has a lot of high points in the waveform, so you can see these are all kind of close together. But if I have something that's more melodic, it's gonna have singular ones of these. So this is a good combination of melodic and harmonic. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in that middle ground to just kind of keep it in the middle. That way it doesn't change it too much. For the harmonic side, that's where you're gonna have a bunch of different instruments and stuff that are all together, but just kind of play around with this. Now, when it comes to music, you wanna make sure that you're using things that you're not gonna be in violation of copyright of. That's why I use Epidemic Sound. This video is not sponsored by any means by them, but I definitely recommend, if you're looking for sound effects, or if you're looking for really good music, high quality, that's the place to go. Check out the link down in the description. You can get 30 days free and kind of decide for yourself. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video, edit like a pro by subscribing, and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.